sub again. I get a lot of emails from guys that are getting into tube amps. They're wondering, you know, I want to work on a little Fender Champ or a Deluxe or Marshall, whatever it is. And they're like, what's the best scope I could get to do this? Well, here's my advice. Don't run out and buy Tektronics, okay? You're gonna spend a lot of money on that scope. And usually they're plagued with problems, okay? Because they've got a lot of field use. What I would highly recommend is you find yourself a little Awatsu or a leader scope, okay? These little Watsus were used uh, in schools, a lot of training centers that had very light use. Great scope. This one here, it's a uh, model SS5702. It's a 20 megahertz scope, which is more than enough for what you need. You know, I mean, you're going to be dealing with something maybe, if you're lucky, 20 kilohertz, right? That's what we want. And 20 megahertz, obviously, you're what? 10 times that, okay? So maybe that's 100 times. I think it is. Anyway, more than enough scope for what you need. These things are really reliable. You can get them for under 100 bucks. And uh, let me show you what it does. I'm going to hook it up to an amp. And you'll see how easy it is to use. So the next thing you need to do is go find one. Here we go. All right, so here we go. I got a little audio generator hooked up to this champ. This thing came into the shop needing some repair. I've got the scope hooked up to the speaker output leads. Okay. So I'm going to play with the volume here. So let's not concentrate on the amp. Let's look at the scope. All right. Put my camera down here. Trying to do this too badly. There we are. Let's zero in on the screen. All right. So I'm down at uh, 50 millivolts AC coupling channel one. Now this is a dual channel scope. I'm not using channel two, but it's there, okay? I'm going into this thing with an 800 uh, hertz signal. I'm going to turn it up. And if you look, you can see there's a lot of noise in the sine wave. Here's the bass. Look at the treble. Okay? So this amp needs some help, all right? So I'm, I'm not hitting her hard at all. And like I say, I'm at 50 millivolts per division. So we're only seeing like 150 millivolts. I'm almost at full volume, okay? So this thing needs some help, doesn't it? But you can see you got some uh, dirty controls. You see, you can see your nice sine wave. You can play with your time. You see that wavering in the sine wave? That's an indication of a bad filter cap. Like I say, this is a 20 meg scope. Very basic scope. And with something like this, that's all you need to fix that champ. All right, so as I go further into this champ repair, I will put on some more videos to show you what became of this thing. However, this video is not about the champ. This video is about you choosing the right scope to fix tube amps, okay? You ain't got to spend a lot of money, guys. Go out and find yourself a nice $100 Watsu or a liter. There's, there's other companies out there. But those would be the two targets. They're very well built. They're Japanese scopes. And those guys know how to do it. So I hope this was valuable information for you. And uh, keep tuned to D-Lab. I'll give you some more tech tips. And the best thing is, it's free. See you.